All right, so in the past few years of doing photography, I spent a decent amount of money on a lot of camera equipment, either because I genuinely needed it or because I came across something super cool that I just couldn't ignore. But I never really sat down and thought about what was actually necessary for me to improve my workflow for my personal and professional work. So I thought it would be a great idea to list out all the equipment I'd need for content creation for the upcoming new year and the new rebranded channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about that and share what's in my camera bag for 2022. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and happy new year. So before I talk about the contents of the camera bag, I first want to talk about the thought process I had while coming up with the list of equipment. So I like being on the go, I'm constantly outside and I don't really like having a lot of equipment on me. And it was very important to me that my camera bag and essentially my setup was something that was light, minimal, efficient, and just for my own sake, it needed to be budget friendly. So. Everything you see here, or everything in my camera bag, essentially fits those categories uh, on some level. A lot of the things I got were from the secondhand market, but I mean, largely speaking, they are rather budget friendly. With all that said, going into the camera bag, uh, I ended up getting this bag called the, the Tenba Fulton 10 liter camera bag. So just looking at the bag, it's very small and tiny. Uh, it barely looks like a camera bag, and that's kind of what drew me to this specific bag. Uh, it's just very inconspicuous. Uh, you wouldn't expect it to be a camera bag at all. I mean, it's just like very tiny. But anyway, going into the functions of the actual bag, there's the front pocket put in all, where I put in all of my accessories, which I will talk about in a little bit. On this side is basically a pouch for the water bottle. On this side is where my tripod goes. And on the top half is essentially the compartment for all the accessories for my camera stuff. That isn't my main camera equipment. I'll go into detail about that later as well. And on the back is the main camera compartment, which is a really nice feature of this bag because I think it's a, just like a nice safety feature in case you're worried about people like trying to go into your bag and potentially steal your equipment. Now going into the actual camera compartment itself, uh, it's a very tiny compartment. And as you can see here, I have two lenses or two of my main lenses. I have my main camera, which is the Fujifilm X-T4. And on that camera lives the TT Artisan 35 millimeter F1.4. In this little compartment over here, I have my point and shoot camera that I got from Goodwill. Uh, I think it, hmm. I got it for pretty cheap at Goodwill. So that's also a nice purchase as well. Uh, just using it for fun essentially. Uh, or in case I need to get a quick shot on film. I went with the Fujifilm camera system because I started from film photography and it was kind of, you know, kind of second nature for me to just have the, like the physical dial. So on the X-T4, there's the ISO, you have the shutter speed and the aperture rings on the lens. And it was just really easy for me to get accustomed to uh, just moving into digital photography. And with the X-T4, it's weather sealed, so I didn't have to worry about inclement weather or anything like that. It's a really nice camera and it's my main camera. My second camera that I have is a DJI Osmo Action. And I have it because it's just a very small action camera. Small form factor, very easy to use for vlogging style setups. Good for being outside. I'm probably gonna be using it just for like running gun filming stuff. As far as lenses go, I have the Fujifilm 18 to 55 millimeter f 2.8 to f4 lens. It's just a kit lens, but it's still really useful and it gives good results. For my prime lens, I have the 23 millimeter f2, uh, which is my main running gun lens, partially because, you know, I have autofocus with that and not the TT Artisan. It's weather sealed as well, so really useful to have. Now that's essentially my, I guess, digital setup, but I do shoot film photography as well. Uh, so as far as film clip, as far as film cameras go, I do have the Canon P rangefinder, uh, which is a really incredible camera to have. And it's very fun to use. It's very minimal and it's just a beautiful camera. Now going into the top of the camera bag uh, are again, all my accessories that I have. Ah, okay. So first off I have this, which is the which is a flash meter. Uh, this is the Minolto flash meter four. I use this with my Canon P rangefinder because the Canon P rangefinder does not have a light meter. It's completely manual. I also have this thing, which is a My Charge Adventure. I got this from Best Buy and it was, a, I think it was a relatively cheap price for a portable charger. This itself is, I think, shockproof, uh, waterproof. Uh, and it's, and I use this for charging my camera or charging my phone really nice to have. Oh, actually, let me demonstrate this real quick. I use these mini straps here for clipping things on with a carabiner clip. So what I'll do 
is I'll just have it on the strap like that. So, I don't really have to worry about going in and out of my camera bag. All right, so going back into it, I have this thing, which is not my DS case. I actually use this for containing or storing all of my SD cards. I have my hard drive in here and my USB storage thing. But it's really useful. I didn't think I needed to buy an extra SD card case or you know some other case because I had this lying around and I don't use my Nintendo DS anymore. So I just thought it'd be a little resourceful. Resourceful. I thought I'd be a little resourceful and just you know, reuse this. Well, I mean, that's currently in my camera bag at the moment. Uh, wait, I almost... Ah, oh, I almost forgot this! Also, what I'd have in the top of the camera bag is the Deity mic that I use. Oh, it's still on. Yikes. So this is the Deity D3 V-Mic Pro. I think I butchered the name wrong, but I use this for, you know, capturing audio. And I also have the Deity D4 Mini, which is currently on my DJI Osmo Action, just because it's just smaller and very, and it's a lot easier to hold while it's on the action camera uh, and like for vlogging setups. Now, going into the front of the bag, I have, I have this key, definitely not a key. I have this, which is the Roland CS10EM, I believe. The name is something similar to that, but I use these for binaural audio recording. You kind of, are able to record on the outside because these here are mics and on the inside is the actual earbud that goes into your ear. So you're able to monitor and record binaural audio at the same time. And this is the Zoom H1n. Uh, I use this to record the audio using this or sometimes a deity, but this is a really nice audio recorder. I use this for ambient recordings, uh, again, binaural recordings. I have this, my leather notebook that I got for Christmas. Uh, haven't used it yet, but I will be using it a lot during the year. I've got my pen. I have my charger in here at the top. So obviously to charge my camera and my phone. Well, not my phone. I have the iPhone 8, which does not use USB-C. But I use this for charging my camera. Uh, I can also charge or I can connect this or I can use this to connect my camera to the portable charger or I could just charge the portable charger itself or the camera itself, for that matter. I forgot to mention. Uh, did I forget to mention anything? I don't think I did. Well, let me put everything back in. This is what I, oh, wait, I wait, I, I lied. I actually, I almost forgot. This is the tripod that I use. This is the newer NW831, uh, which is very, very, very budget friendly for a tripod. I originally wanted the Peak Design travel tripod, but just seeing that it costed like 300 to 600 dollars i was just i couldn't afford that so i went with this oh goodness yeah so essentially the tripod just goes there i have my water bottle here and just actually let me get my water bottle real quick so basically this would be my entire camera bag of course it's subject to change over time i'm probably I'll, i will probably be upgrading i think well i'll upgrade something so this is what it is as of now. Uh, we'll see where it takes me. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, have a good week. I have a good day. Have a good new year. Uh, I, I don't know how to end these videos. It's terrible. But, you know, thanks for watching.